So a seated position. Stay comfortable, cross-legged. Pressing the hands on the knees, palms face up. Go ahead and close the eyes. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out.
Downward facing dog, take it back. Bend your right knee, sit into your left hip and heel. <clears throat> And switch. Plank position. Down dog, press through the index finger, bases draw back. Plank pose again. <clears throat> Lower chaturanga to the floor as you exhale. Release your toes. Three cobra poses. Inhale, pick up the chest. Squeeze into back muscles. Exhale, lower. Lift your belly button. Inhale, pick up the chest. Little to no weight in those hands. Exhale, lower. One more cobra lift. Inhale, squeeze the back. And exhale, lower. Plank or tabletop, your choice. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Look forward, several steps, walking feet to hands, feet are about hip distance apart, bend knees, bend elbow. Hang forward. Maybe a little sway side to side with the upper body. Or a little shake in the head, yes and no. And then find some stillness, drop in. Listen to that breath. Release the hands. Come up to standing. Grab them. Arms reach up at the top. Hands to heart center. Exhale. Big breath in. Exhale up. Back into your Ujjayi front. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step the left foot back as you exhale. Keep the hands down, but come up onto the fingertips. Lower through the hips, send your chest forward. And then bring your feet together, forward fold. Hard out, lengthen, inhale. Right foot steps back, exhale, lunge. Come up onto fingertips, sink the hips, heart forward. Exhale, forward, fold. Lengthen. Right foot back, exhale, same thing, sink. Heart forward, inhale. Forward, fold, exhale. Lengthen. Right foot back. Sink the hips, send your heart forward, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Lengthen, breathe in. Right foot back, or excuse me, left foot back, exhale, and drop the knee this time, release the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up, low lunge, Anjayasana. Right hand to left wrist, left palm to ceiling, lean to the right. Squeeze your left glute and lengthen through the left side of the body. Come back to center. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, lift the heart, open the chest, squeeze the left glute. And open more and more through the front of that left hip. Arms back up, breathe. Hands to the floor, exhale, back toes curl under, lift to the knee. Lunge and the right arm reaches up. Twist. Right palm to the front of the room and then reach the arm to the front, bicep towards the ear. Try not to drop the left hip. Pull the belly up. Right hand down to the floor. Lengthen the right leg. Keep the feet where they are. Take a long spine. Breathe in. Exhale, fold, plugging that outer hip back and under. Base of the big toe ground in them. In 
inhale, lengthen and bend the right knee. Exhale, step your feet together, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, heart up. Right leg back, exhale, take the knee down and release the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms. Squeeze the right glute, take your left hand to right wrist, right palm to ceiling, and then add more, lean to the left. Back to center, release the bind, hands go behind the back and interlace the fingers. Lift the chest, open heart. Arms reach back. Hands to the floor, back toes curl under, knee lift. This right palm stays down, left arm heels up. Try not to drop that right hip. Okay, keep it lifted. Left squeeze up and in at low belly. Left palm to the front of the room. Reach the arm to the front of the room. Streamline. Hand comes down, lengthening that front leg. Draw the left outer hip back and under. But then ground through the base of the left big toe. Maybe fold in. Bring your belly towards thigh. Bend the knee, exhale, feet together, forward fold. Heart lifts, long spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, reach the arm. Exhale, arms down, samastiti. Chair pose, utkatasana, inhale. Cactus arms as you exhale, bend the elbow, scoop the belly. Next, exhale, bring the forearms and hands to touch in front of your face. Inhale, then open. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, open, lift the belly, squeeze your legs together. Exhale, bring them. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring them in, stand up, hands to the heart. One breath. Chair pose, with your tassel. Forward fold, Uttanasana, release. Then lengthen, Ardha, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward. Crescent lunge. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Lift your sternum, your chest, into the thumbs. Squeeze into left glute. Hug the inner thighs. All sorts of activations there. Take a breath. Exhale the hands down. Right foot steps back to side plank. Left shin could come down to modify right arm up. Right arm then bicep to ear. Maybe you have a right foot to the left. Option. Right arm back up. Hand down, downward dog, press back. Left foot forward, crescent. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to heart, hold, sternum to thumbs. Squeeze into the glute, maybe into the back muscles a bit as you open the chest more. Good. Arm up, hand 
down, down dog, press back. Heels high, breathe in. Bend knees, chest to thighs, exhale. Plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog. Take it back. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Right knee towards nose, exhale. Lift the shin, squeeze the belly. Inhale, right leg back. Right knee, left tricep, exhale. Bring it across. Inhale, leg back. Right knee, right tricep, exhale. Get it high up here. Good. Inhale, leg back. Exhale, step it through. Right foot, right thumb. Crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. And then open the arms to the T position. Turn the palms to face up. Engage into the back muscles again and lift the chest. A little back bend there. Squeeze into that left glute. Foundation. Make sure the bases of the big toes ground. Beautiful, you guys. Next, inhale, arms come back up. Exhale, twist, hands to heart, and then twist, bring that left elbow or shoulder to the outside of the right knee. Squeeze that left thigh and move strong. Yes, good. How's the breath? Gaze down, inhale. Hands to the floor, exhale, step the back foot in about a third of the distance, Parsvo Tanasana. Long legs square, hips lengthen, spine. Exhale, fold in, chin towards shin. You could direct the gaze down to the right big toe if you'd like, just really sort of direct the energy of the upper body down the leg. Right? Feel pressure into both feet. Inhale, lengthen. Half moon pose. Exhale, right knee bends, right fingertips in front of the toes, and lift open. Activate the left leg. Draw the right hip on your butt. Ribs in, belly. Exhale, warrior two, step back. Arms reach out. And then straighten your front leg and reach back through the left fingertips a couple inches. Rebend the knees. So we get nice and neutral through the spine here. Come on up. Lean, lean, lean. Reverse warrior. Remember it's an opening for the side body. Warrior two, exhale. Hands to heart, straighten both legs, look left. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse, inhale, reach back. Exhale, warrior two. Hands to heart, legs straight and look left, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straight legs, hands to heart, look left. Exhale, warrior two, maybe a little deeper, hold, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, one more, reverse. Exhale, hand the windmill down, back heel lifts, right leg sweeps back, open hip, bend knee, feel the glute. Option one, stay there. Option two, take shoulders over wrists, keeping the shape of your leg. Wild things, set the right foot behind you, lower the knees, and then lift the foot. Bring it around. Right leg up and back, breathe. Right into your nose, reset. And let heel like that. Exhale, right foot to left. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, bend elbows, chaturanga. 
Inhale, back to plank. Downward dog, press back. Good. Take the knees to the mat before we go to other side. Knees wide, big toes touch, walk hands forward. Mouth heart towards the floor. So maybe foreheads down to the and some of you chest and chin. Listen for your breath.
Straighten the legs, hands to heart center, and look right. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the legs, hands to heart, and inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Again, inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the leg, hands to heart, and inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Hold. Maybe go a little deeper this time. Left knee is bent, right leg is long. Gazing over left fingertips. Reach back, reverse, and inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lift your back heel, sweep your left leg up and back, opening the hip, bend the knee. Choose to stay, or shoulder shift above wrists. Left foot steps behind you, low hips. Lift them back up and open.
downward dog all the way back. Plank position and hand. Try to rub up to your mat. <clears throat> Exhale. Release the toes. Bend the knees. Draw the belly button up. So zip up the belly. And then reach the hands back to the outer feet or outer ankles if available. Next inhale, lift up, kicking into the hands. Don your asana, go pose. to the earth. Right cheek to the mat. Bring the chin back to the mat. Slide your hands under the shoulders. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Good. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Go ahead and walk your hands to your feet. Come to the back of your mat. Lengthen. Exhale, fold and bind your big toes with the first two fingers, then lengthen again. Inhale. Fold and exhale. Press down through the feet. Lengthen the legs. Lengthening the crown of the head towards the floor. Then lengthen your heart forward. Breathe in. Exhale the left hand to your hip and bend your left knee, shifting weight into that foot. Inhale, come to stand, bring your right leg with you, maybe transfer to the knee if the big toe is not available today. Belly and back strong. Take the inhale here. Exhale, open the leg to the right. Keep your right sit bone long. Maybe turn the head to the left. Bring the leg back to center. Exhale, lower back down where you started. Right hand to right hip. Left hand bind your big toe. Wait for the exhale to shift your weight into your right foot. Inhale, stand up. Left leg comes with you. Strong back legs, feet. 
squeeze into the glutes. Open the chest. Good. Hands behind your back now and interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow forward over the thigh or inside the knee. Humble your warrior. And we ground into the outer edge of your back foot and heel. Inhale, come up halfway and lift your back heel. Digasana, airplane pose. Shift forward, release the arms out like airplane wings. Send some breath up into the back sides of the lungs. Or at least visualize that, yes. Revolving half moon, left hand down, right arm up, flex the back ankle, press up through your heel. Erica, drop your left hip a bit. Yes. Both hands to the floor. Exhale, left knee to right calf. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee, right foot. Inhale, left. One more. Exhale, left knee, right calf. Spread your toes. Keep hands down or lift them up towards the heart. Three. Two. Hands down or reach forward. Sit into a seated twist. Ardha, Matsandrasana. Left leg could be straight. We're going to twist over to the right, but keep the hips square as we move into the twist. But those of you that have an arm balance there, there's space to play from Vinyasana 1. Inhale, come 
coming up halfway. Lift your back heel, lift your belly. Airplane pose, Digasana. Shift and fly. Look for stability over getting bigger. Right? Let's get more stable first. Revolving half moon. Right fingertips down, left arm up, hips are square. Yeah, right arm, right hip open. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Nice, everybody. Everyone looks good. Breathe. Exhale, hands to the floor, right knee to left calf. Inhale, send the leg back. Exhale, right knee, left calf. Inhale, leg back. Again, exhale, bend both knees, right knee to left calf, spread your right toes, hands stay down or lift apart. Then reach the arms forward as you slowly sit down into Ardha Matsudrasana. Twist. So hips stay even, and then the twist happens through the spine. Right? Tendency. It feels like, oh, I'm twisting so much when my hip goes far back. Not doing a lot in the spine right But those of you that took the arm balance, even out this side. Before we move, see if you can ground you down into your six bones, the sole of the left foot, the right thigh bone, just a little more. So down energy. And then see if that opens space for more twists. Back to center, breathe in. Go Mokasana, left knee stacks over right. Right leg could be straight. If you did the arms, this time the right arm above, the left arm of the knee. Choose your option. Breathe into it.
rise. Bending the back knee, draw the heel in towards your glute. Let it work on its own first. Engage back muscles. And then possibly reach the left hand back. Draw it in deeper. Maybe there's a posture that's in your practice there. And take. Release the back leg. Slide it up into your right foot. And sit down. Right hand then goes behind you. Lift through the hips. Reach to the left arm. Lower down. Left hand to right knee. Right arm reaches up. Look at your left knee. And then lean in, drop your left shoulder towards the knee, reach up and over with the right. Get really deep into that stretch through right side body. Feel it into the low back, possibly. Right. Release the right leg straight. Draw the left knee towards the right. If this is not in agreement with your knees or the foot doesn't want to get the top down, you can always modify here. Okay? Some of you will stay lifted, others will recline back. You've already done a full of your asana. Here's half. Lengthen your tailbone towards the front of your mat. Two more breaths. Release, rise. Thank you. Sit into that right hip. Swing your left leg around. Take your hands to the foot or behind your thigh. First, hug your chest towards your thigh so you get real tall through the spine, then lift and extend through the leg. Maybe bring the leg towards the face. Go ahead and release it. Hover it. Reach the arms forward. your shins, transition to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Pigeon, left knee, left wrist. Release the back leg, lower the hips, lift the chest, maybe sway a bit. Find your center. And the forearms are on the again. Surrender to the breath.
Inhale, rise, bend the back knee. Oops, let's let it go on its own first. Really hugging it. Strong as possible. And then wave it back. Reverse table, hands behind you, about a foot back, fingers face toes, bent knees. 
Inhale, press hips up. Look up or back. Just hug your heels towards your hands. Activate. And then lower down. Baddha Konasana. Butterfly pose. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Option to sit tall and stay there. Allowing the hips to just soften with breath and time. Or we lean in. Towards the floor, push your heels into each other. You even reach the knees out to the right and to the left. Rise up, reverse table. Upward facing bow. 
If the dragging of the heels towards the shoulders does not connect for your body, maybe press firmly for your feet and see if that helps. Find more space and open. down. Third one, inhale, come up. Rock side to side and massage the back of it. Place the left foot on the floor and the right ankle above the knee. Open the hip. Draw the left knee into the chest. Maybe you find it. Big squeeze. Two breaths. One. To release the leg, left foot to the floor, keep the shape of your legs. And then lower them over to the left. So now the right foot comes in contact with the floor. And you could press the right leg away from your belly. Relax jaw and shoulders. Tune into the breath. Come back to center. Right leg to the right foot to the ceiling. Belly draws in. Cover it. Lower it. Then bend the knee. Right foot down. Left ankle above the left. Right knee. And open the hip. Hug it in. Two breaths. Release. Keep the shape of your legs. Lower half of the body rolls to the right. Left foot comes in contact with the floor. Possibly press the left leg away from you.
inner transformation can occur when we deliberately investigate why we act or react the way we do. Understanding what our long-standing behavioral patterns are and what caused them in the first place provides the opening we need to change the way we think and act. This practice of self-transformation could be the most difficult part of our journey through yoga. Faith in ourselves and in the universe supporting this endeavor will allow the process to bear fruit. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Breath in through the nose. And open the mouth, release and exhale. Middle toes and fingers start to awaken the body. Bringing awareness once again to your breath. And sliding the legs together and the knees into the chest. Give yourself space. Love. Rolling over to the right side and then up to seated with hands at heart center and eyes closed. Deep breath in and release. Today. From my heart to yours, Namaste.